welcome back. More vitamin Y. The chain's banned. Man, I hate you guys. Ooh, the chain is so broken. I and mean, Daniel, you bell ducks, and you can't have it. Like, damn. The struggle is real. So, if you didn't see webcam duels, I tried a Neo Swizen deck, which of course ran chain and put Neo Swizen on top of my back. Is that so goddamn busted? Apparently it is. So, that deck is done. No more of that. So, uh, like as soon as I saw balance, I immediately just went, deleted Neo Swizen. And I was like, done. Done. <laughs> you know, I, done. If you guys want a deck profile of what it was, I can go ahead and give it to you. And you'll go ahead and post in the comments below. Like, you know what? Sure, give us the deck profile. But yeah, I need, I, clearly, I need Loyal Chain. I need to put that Neo Swizeman on top of the deck because I need to draw it. I need to draw it to play it, to summon it. So, without that, I'm sitting here like, I have Neos and I have you, Bell. And now I just sit here for a Neo Swizeman. It'll come eventually. Oh, how am I going to get Neo Swizeman to my hand? Oh, Gold Sark is still at one, isn't it? Mmm, no. I'm not saying that Gold Shark should go up just because it's a kind of sacky card, you know, just because it's like, oh, yeah, wait your turn to put any card on top of your deck? Yeah, sure. But, you know, it's just like, yay, my, my Neo Seismic deck, I will never get it to work, you know. So not only did you hurt all my Evil decks, but you killed my Neo Seismic deck, so. <sighs> I, you know what, and, and I'm just sitting there looking at my decks, and I'm like, wait, you know, like Summoner Monk, like, what's up with him? You know, what's up with that? What's up with Summoner Monk? Like, I really can't even pull him off anymore. I'm just like, damn. Damn, so. Uh, how, hopefully, I'm trying to uh, fix some of the Ubel decks is to simply play more uh, helpers. Someone help his army at night. So look at their turn with this guy. I pretty much have to play him. Not sure about him, I guess. I guess he's still an enabler just because he's able to summon, special summon Armageddon Knight out of the grave. I mean, out of the, grave, out of the deck. But the problem with him is that Xen, Xen, essentially. I don't have any more enablers. I have no more enablers. And, I, and that's the problem, especially in this deck. You know, some decks have, of course, uh, King of the Feral Imps, but this deck doesn't play it, of course, because I don't run Machiavellian in this deck. I don't have any enablers in this deck. And, and that really sucks. And if you guys are wondering my enablers, Pretty much, it's those cards that will I don't have to play to respond to an opponent's play. Because when you look at the majority of rank fours, the majority of them will respond to your opponent's plays. You know, you don't just go into a casto just to go into a casto. It never happens. You know, you don't do that. You know, I just talked about Glossak. That's funny. So banish from your deck, face up. So you you gotta show me, yeah, because uh, dimensional capsule is the one that's set. Dimensional Capsule is also a bad card because, you know, as soon as that shit gets spaced, you know, I mean, I pretty much have to put Gold Sark in my Dimensional Capsule, and that's still too slow. I gotta wait two turns to get my Neo Slides into my hand. It's like, hopefully, after two turns, I'll be set up, and when I get him, I can play him, but I pretty much be, you know, running Gold Sark in Dimensional Capsule, so it's super slow, super bad. Just, mm, 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 mm. but we're not gonna give up. I guess he was supposed to keep it on the field. I guess he don't want to come after me. That's fine. All right, cool. Now I'm getting that. So, like I said, right now, right now, and, and, and I mean, I'm, at this point, I probably wouldn't make a lot of change just because I would have all three to the graveyard right now. But I'm just saying, you're not making a Castell just to make a Castell. You don't be like, oh, I got two level fours on the field. Let's go ahead and go into Castell because why not? I'm not going to use the effect. Just go into Castell. No, you respond to your opponent's play to Castell. You respond to your opponent's play to one on one. The Axiton. You know, that's a response play. Those are, you know. It's not, it's not an enabler to, you know, allow you to progress further in the dual state. And it, that's what really sucks. It really does suck. Okay, I got to draw you. So, all of them are in the graveyard, so. And now this also sucks about, uh, about Mystic Tomato now. Is, you know, I'm going to be drawing Mystic Tomato more often. And, you know, once I'm set up, I don't need Mystic Tomato. But then I need Mystic Tomato to get me set up, you know. So it's just it's just as bad as running more Armageddon Knights and one, more Dark Graffers, you know. Once their job is complete, they're bad draws. You know, I'd rather have more revival. Give me more revival. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe activating Call of the Hunted and running over with Doom Shaman, then, you know, dealing with FX seeing me. And that's sad, because, you know, I could XC, but I, I really don't feel like it. You know, I really don't feel like it. Let's go into battle phase. Activate this. Doom Shaman. Okay. Just less. It was terrible. It was ter ter terrible, terrible. Just 
Eh, that girl's getting hit a little bit. Eh, band chain. Eh. Like, yeah, that's a gen lock. And, and like I said, I wanted to do gen lock ban, even if you ban the lava chain, just because it's still an enabler. You know? Oh, you get what? What? Run, run to her guy, to her guy, some to gen, you know? Run more to gen. Like, you can still pull it off even though the wobble chain is banned, so. I just don't want someone doing their turn. Your turn that monster is only SS1. I'm sorry, it's hard to tell you, but your Blizzard Dragon is only Super Saiyan 1. I'm sorry, it's supposed to be 1. I was actually talking to my group of friends, and someone stated SS2 as in Spell Speed 2, and I was like, Super Saiyan 2? <laughs> I guess that's SSJ. Who would have thought? But yeah. So, see, once per turn. It's not like once per turn during either player's turn, you can tell you that. If it was during either player's turn and SS2, it would say. For example. For, for example. See void? See void? And either player's turn. I can show you something from Action Deck as an example. Alright, so go ahead and run you over. Yeah, just informing you because lots of people make that mistake. That's fine. That's fine. So at least I know that it's there. So what does it say? Okay, that's fine. Okay. Is it worth exceeding? Nah, no, I'll just let him kill one of the Armageddon Knights that can die. Go ahead. Actually, you know what? I should have got rid of him because he can exceed. That was dumb. That was dumb on my part. He has one, two, three, four, five, six. It's, so, it's only been one turn. Then one turn. Are you shitting me? You don't get it on activation. It doesn't count as one. Because, of course, Goldstock doesn't count. He's just keeping it there as a placeholder. I wonder if he actually thinks it's there as a card, but it's not. So he has one, two, three, four, five, six. When he summons an exceed, so he'll be at five. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So, yeah. So if he wants to, he can exceed. Lady of D, your opponent cannot select face of dragon types you control all its for attacks as this card will be destroyed by battle by card effect. You can send one dragon type. Okay, that's fine. So if he's smart, he can push for an extra time if he wants to. No, okay. He doesn't even want to activate his freaking blizzard effect, like wow. Wow. Alright, like I said, tomato still isn't doing anything. Nor am I gonna use tomato right now. No, like I said I could go for a void, but there's no point. So obviously I know this is uh that. Uh I literally took out Luala Chain and put in another cast out because I couldn't think of anything. I, I, I could not think of anything, and that's really sad to say. You know, I'm probably just going to overlay these two into a, uh... Yeah, I can do, I can do a double sync eight. Alright, just because I can go ahead and use this limit verse if I want to. So, I'm probably just going to overlay these two into an Emerald Defense Mode. Yeah. Ah, uh, the plays it seems so anticlimactic in comparison to you know how good they were before. So use my normal normal summon to get Doom Shaman Pet. Pet. Is that no? This is why it's been done, I guess. Next time we do webcam duels, I mean I guess we can try out um Either Evil Hero, Evil Hero, Your Belly, Umbra, Your Bell. I mean, they they did run level of chain. It was nice, but I don't rely on them as much. You know, uh, Umbra, Your Bell is a little bit more, but you know, I do run shit like Mystic Tomato and shit. So, you know, it should still be fun. I'm gonna go ahead and summon Hot, Hot, which is the whole reason why I summon the Defense Merge. So, Tinker Effects, see the top card. Do I want to supervise? Uh. Go ahead and tell me why I can't. He 
be generic. One tuner and one or more non-tuner monsters. Tinker's a tuner, Doom Shaman's the non-tuner. It adds up to eight. Two plus six is eight. I'm recording. Okay, uh, like I said, um, and I think I promised you a duel. I promised you a duel. I remember that from, I think it was yesterday's or previous day. Uh, you can, you can be next. And be next. Okay. You couldn't get Tinker on the first place. One, you had to get rid of XC material, and two, it has to be non- no, I was using my normal summon to get Doom Shaman effect. He is a Gemini. Oh my god. Doom Shaman effect. Once per turn, I can summon one fiend type monster from my hand or either player's graveyard. Then I'm gonna sink. Tinker is a tinker. The tinker is a fiend. So, so the thing with Super Vice is, of course, it's a great card to go ahead and draw. But if he kills my Emerald next turn, then I don't get it, which is a bad draw. So you know what? No, For right now I'm not gonna take it. So I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead, go ahead and go hot red effect and wipe your attack position monsters. Which is the whole reason why I summon everyone in defense. So these two are gone. This card will be destroyed by battle by card effect. You can send one dragon type monster from the grave by itself. So so. Do you want lady? Okay, so it doesn't want lady effect, which is fine. Oh my god, who is blowing up my phone? I'm trying to record. Okay, sorry. Someone commented on my killer video. It's like creature swap. Like no, no, you can't. You can't use creature swap. Uh, second effect. You can't use creature swap on killer. He's unaffected by. The creature swap and cannot be selected as the tar as a target, so no. Actually, you know what? I should probably summon them in defense. Actually, you know it doesn't really matter, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. It's um, it's that he's gonna go ahead and get his dragon next turn, uh, w which is fine. So he's probably gonna summon a dragon then. Yeah. It is a Gemini. Oh my God, Gemini. First sentence. This card is treated as a normal monster where I face up on the field or in the grave. I'm like, please don't make me get the link with Emerald versus Gemini monsters. It's always treated as a normal monster. Always. When it's in the graveyard or it's on the field before its effect, it's treated as a normal monster. Therefore, I can summon it with that goose or Emerald. Like I said, do I need to link you? That's cause you're a scrub. <laughs> just go, just go, just go. Like, whew, so bad. I dueled against worse. Now go ahead and get your item. See, this is one of the reasons why I did not get uh, um, uh, Surat. Cause right now, if he has a dragon, he can summon a dragon. Special summon Radom, Radom summon another dragon, and then kill both these two. So, I said I probably should summon defense, but life points are fine right now. I'm okay. Like I said, I still got two limb reverses, so I can hit the emergency bell button whenever I feel like it. So, right now, I don't need to. Yeah, and I kind of felt like more going for hot red than going for like a Beals. So, you definitely have to. No, wow, I'm about to say, you definitely have to kill my plays right now. So, you didn't. It's called Hunted is attached to uh, Statue of Nothing, actually. Okay, I'll take that. So, I guess I'll go ahead and go into Scrap Dragon. And then Scrap, go ahead and destroy the new card. Yeah. 
and detach summon bat. Yeah. So I'm gonna use my normal summon to have Doom Shaman gain effect. Because I should have took that super rise. Oh, well, it's fine. Well, that would be safe than sorry. Go ahead and summon a, a fiend type. Synchro shotgun. Scrap dragon. Synchro effect. Look at the top card, which is mandatory. Do I run a rota? No. So I'll go ahead and go scrap effect. This for this, which of course that's attached to nothing, so I pretty much get a fruit pot. It was attached to Doom Shaman, but uh, I synced with them, so I got stuck on the field, which is totally fine, yeah. Okay, I don't know what this card does. Okay, nothing. Alright, so I'll go ahead and go Emerald Effect, Emerald Effect, Second Effect. I don't think I've ever used Emerald's first effect in this deck. Maybe maybe once. Maybe once. Like, like why would I want to turn my monsters back to my deck? Like, it's a terrible idea. Seems like a terrible idea. Go ahead and tap Doom Shaman. So 24 should be enough. Is this Crystal and Gun block one attack? Alright, so. Alright, block one of them. I'm probably going to go ahead and block Red Archer. It's fine. 28. I mean, 18. 28. Three thousand. You block that with some scarecrow. There you go. Do that, and I'll go ahead and end my turn. That's it. I promised him a duel. I apologize. This one's taking so long, so I guess you'll get a long episode of Vami One because I promised him a duel. So we'll go ahead and duel him in this video too, even though we're at seventeen minutes. Are you gonna go ahead and throw the Regeki at me now? You got it? Or did it drop the red in time? I said you had a dry guy. I seriously don't know why you didn't just go summon, banish, summon, fat, summon. Like, I guess you're scared of the hot red, so you're going on defensive when you could at least go remotely on the offensive, but at this point, it might be a little, be a little bit too over red and so you got. Yeah, you know, my emerald is pretty useless. I use both materials, so I don't care about him, you know. You can much scrap if you want to. I'm trying to guess can go ahead and die just because I have revival and other cards. You know, I'll just summon off Emerald, just summon from him for a beater and you know, use the materials on Emerald. At least Emerald didn't, at least Emerald didn't get hit, and Emerald, you know, he's an enabler, so. He's a situational enabler, you know. Well, this duel is over. So, how should I wrap this up? I should just hurry up. I literally should just hurry up. So, I'm gonna go ahead and go scrap the fat. Go ahead and destroy a monster, then attack. You block one of them, attack, attack game. So, this duel's over. Right, well, we can get one more duel in. Thank you. Do you have some kind of effect? No. It's probably the world's weirdest dragon player. Has Red Eyes Darkness Metal in this hand. Never summons it. Like, okay. Tell it. Attack, block one of them, attacking you. Alright, get out of my face. Alright. Uh, what was his name? I forgot his name already. Uh, it's like something 400. Maybe, maybe he's hosting? I forgot his name. Holy crap. I just saw it and I forgot. Uh, making capital G is on. Do you only make a capital G? No. I forgot his name. Hopefully he messages me because I forgot his name. I I really did. I forgot his name. Hmm. Well, you know what? I'll see if he messages me and says like, "All right, you know, come and duel me," because I forgot his name. And uh, you know, I'm gonna call an episode for now because this video's long enough. And if I do duel him, I'll just go ahead and duel with you all our trends. Simple as that. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Vime and Wine. Like I said, it sucks, sucks chains ban. It really does. It makes me want to cry because it, it hurt, you know, all my meta decks. I have Teller Knights, unhit. I have Klee's, unhit. I'm running fucking, like, 
non-tier fucking level chain fucking you bell deck, which, you know, majority decks love, you know? Lower tier decks, they love some level chain. It helps, you know? It helps as a neighbor. It helps your plays. Bam! It's like, God damn it, Konami. Like, I hate you so much. I hate this list. I hate it. It's garbage. Garbage. Hate it. Hate it. Fuck Clown Blade. You can have Clown Blade all fucking day. I don't care. You, yo, Clown Blade sucky, so we didn't get rid of it. Oh, oh, but you left fucking Chicken Race and fucking Blaze Phoenix FTK fucking still existing. Don't give me that bullshit. Like you fucking care, Konami. That was garbage. You're garbage. Well, this is terrible. I tell you, you want you to know something? If I didn't pick up fucking Cleese, I would quit Yu-Gi-Oh. That's how bad this list is. That's how bad it is. Because it's just like, wow. Wow. Anyway. I hope that you guys enjoyed the episode of Diamond Line. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys, uh, of course, on Monday with you by our trains. All right, people. Thanks for watching.